you got a Bible this morning, want to read along with me? Mark chapter 1 and verse 21. I'm going to read my scripture and ask Brother Don to lead us in prayer. Matthew, Mark, chapter 1 and verse 21. <clears throat> and they went into Capernaum and straightway on the seventh day he entered into a synagogue and he taught. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone, for what have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee, who thou art the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. Brother, would you lead us in prayer? <coughs> Lord, they didn't recognize who you were. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we enter that dark cave. The story has been sung about and taught about in my Sunday school. This dark cave of disconnection with you. We enter that cave, dear God, because we refuse to do what we put on our hearts. of anxiety, of all these things that Satan dishes out to those who live to him and to God. Help us, Lord. Help us not to enter that cave because we know you are a man of authority as Brother Bill read in your word. He has authority over all things. Help us, dear God, to trust in you Instead of doing the things we want to do. Help us to follow the leadership of your Holy Spirit. Help us to win souls. We ask this in your holy and precious name. Amen. You know, we look around us. There's no trouble, no problem at all. To find all kinds of problems. And I'm here to tell you that the devil is on the rampage. Amen. Even the weather, everything, even the animals is out of whack. I've seen them building nests. I sent a few baby animals that don't happen but a certain time of year all my life. Everything is out of whack in this world. God is about ready to clean this thing up. Amen. Right. Amen. But I want to talk to you here this morning. And it is no trouble to find it in the world. It's the things that the old devil said, just let us alone. People ain't got time to go to church. They ain't got time to pray. They ain't got time to read the Word of God. Time is just flying by. But you can't talk to them about the Lord Jesus Christ right. until they get down so low that they can't do nothing else. Then they call God's people. 
And it's not of them. The old devil's done got control of us. It's not only in the world, but it's in our churches. The old devil's there. When you come through one of these doors into the house of God, when they get in now, the old devil is sitting there somewhere with sheep clothing on. That's right. God's people that are dedicated, they are been tried. Your faith has been tried. And the only thing that's going to matter, are you able to stand? This man here, as he came in there, he was preaching the Word of God. And it stirred the old devil in this one. And all the other people that was around, they was astonished at Jesus preaching. It wasn't like there. Like a lot of churches today in time, they pick out what they want to say to solve people down, and they will not preach against sin. They are afraid they make somebody mad and they won't come back to church. I'm here to tell you, if you ain't going to exhort the Word of God, you ain't going to never make it in church no way. Amen. Amen. The Bible said, preach the Word. I ain't supposed to get up here and give you stories what so and so done down the line or what, what some big old doctor professor or something wrote. My job is to tell you what the Word of God says. Amen. Amen. The old devil, if he is not doing something in your life, I mean, if, if things ain't going this way you want it to do, and it is smooth sailing for you, and you're not under conviction on nothing, I'm here to tell you, he already got you just exactly where he wants you, and he don't care if you come to church, he don't care if you sing in church, right. he don't care if you say a little prayer every once in a while in church, what he is worried about for you just to sit there, and you're not fully dedicated to God, and He'll leave you alone and you'll run back and think everything's all right and you have your heart as you burn up the sin. That's right. That's right. Good preaching. I've seen it too many times. Yes. And I'll tell you, it's not only a lot of them being tried, I'm being tried too. I'm tried every day. But I tell you, I turn a deaf ear if I think God's not in it. I really, I'm slow on a lot of things I do. And the reason I'm slow, I want to make the right decision. I don't want to do things and act faster than my mind works. There's so many things the old devil will tell you just leave us alone. We find out here it said, it was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit and he cried out. That happens sometimes. I've been dealing with one while I was under sickness and couldn't get out of the house. I didn't run up my home. And I tell you, their mind was so dumb here. I mean, just so dumb that it just, you were sitting there talking to them, knowing what the word going in. I didn't think it was. I tried and tried and tried. But yesterday, it visited again. Thanking me and Brenda. He got right. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. One the same person. I could tell the difference in my walking there in Amen. my yard. Amen. It's different. 
But I was very fortunate on that. He came to me. He was hungry for something. But the old devil had him so strong that you couldn't even get a word in. I gave him a Bible. He lost the Bible. But I'll guarantee you he'll have another one. The Lord listened to what he said. He said, let us alone. Jesus said, aren't thou coming? I mean, he said, ain't you come to destroy us? Jesus is going to destroy the devil. Amen. Amen. He'll destroy him. And you and I can get him cut off on a lot of things. The Lord will cut him off and he'll, he'll give you and I a break where you and I can serve him in sincerity and truthy. Listen to what he said in Exodus to prove something to you. Well, he don't care if you sit here in church and all those things, but listen to what he said in Exodus 8, 28. When he had God's people in bondage down in Egypt and they was wanting to let them go. He said, old Pharaoh said, I'll let you go. He said, I'm going to let you go. That you may sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness. He said, you can go ahead. You can go ahead and worship God. Only you shall not go very far away and tread for me. He said, you can go, but you don't go all the way now. That's where the devil want you and I. We become numb to sometimes the things going on. We let our guard down. And we'll get out of place where we are. Kick back, we think we got it made. And that's when you're fixing to have trouble. That's right. right when you think you got it made, you're going to have trouble. You remember when Jesus sent out the 70 people out? He sent them out. They went out like He sent them, and then they returned. In Luke 10, 17, and 18, they was all excited when they got back. You know, He gave them a lot of power to cast out the demons, heal the sick, and all those things. And the assembly returned, the Bible says again with joy, said, Lord, even the de demons uh, are subject unto us through Thy name. That is something to get excited about. Knowing that uh, the Lord through us can just get on to the old devil out of the way. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. He said, I didn't destroy him. And, and just like that, he's gone. It's what you and I are going to do. What's well, going to matter? That's right. And I'm here to tell you, I've been one of the first one to tell you the old devil can have a hold of you in full strength, dear, before you get out of this your church house. Amen. It's easy to get out of the fellowship with God. But you got to be on your guard to stay right with God. But ever since the fall of man in the Garden of Eden, the devil had chosen to make God's own creation to deny him and go against him. And we know that. And we know how powerful that God is. Here at Cummins Mill, we have seen things that are just almost unbelievable in it happening. We've seen people healed of cancer. Heart attacks, all sorts of diseases. People on drugs getting saved. I know when I first started here at Cummins Mill, the 
give me a hard time in this area. Said I was trying to build a place on a bunch of jail house people, drug and alcohol. And that is, the Lord granted me with those people. Why? Because they're human beings. That's the kind of people that Jesus died for. A lot of ministers won't go around to those places and no houses. And I'm here to tell you that's where God wants us to go. Amen. To get them people out. And if you can get to them on your side, I'm going to tell you, you've got a buddy when you get one of them. Those that love the most will work the hardest when Jesus saves them. The meaner you've been, the better Christian you'll make. Look at Apostle Paul and those guys in the Bible. When the Lord lifts you out of that gutter, you feel like a little free bird ready to fly. I'm telling you, you, you it, it does something to you that you'll never have to happen in your lifetime Amen. as long as you live and ever will live. Amen. Listen to what he said. And here, the fall of mankind. John 1 11 said, He came into his own, and his own received him not. His own chosen people rejected him. That's how come me and you get to salvation now when they did. They weren't carried out. We're supposed to carry it out. But we're doing a poor job of it sometimes. Right. Mark 1 24, he just told him there. He said, Leave us alone. It's going to destroy us. So I said, He'll let you believe, but He don't want you to make a commitment. Even lost people believe the word of God is true. They know there's a heaven and a hell. The Bible says that Jesus believed. If you believe in the... Uh, uh, he, he told him, he said, now if you believe in... I forgot, I can't quote that scripture right now. But James 2 and 19 said, I believe that thou you know, this is it. As I believe that there is uh, one God, thou doest well. Amen. See, if you believe there's just a God, you're doing pretty good, you know. You're on the right track. But he said the devil also believed and he trembled. That's right. And you know, over here he told him, he said, uh, let us alone, <coughs> thy Jesus of Nazareth. He knew who he was. He knew him ever since in the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. Where he had the trouble with him. Met Jesus face to face. Well, you see how the old devil turned Job upside down. Took everything he had. But he stayed true in what happened to him. When he got down to the end of the line, he accomplished more than he did in the beginning. Amen. That's when you and I are going to accomplish it all when we get out of the end of the line. Amen. And I'm looking forward to that. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> the devil's trying to get people to believe the lie rather than the truth of God's Word. You can't twist the Bible around. It's what it is. Yes. You either obey it or you disobey it. Right. I want to tell you this morning. The old devil, he is smart. 
And he's a lot smarter than people to give him credit for. But the Lord Jesus Christ gave us the spirit to recognize him. And we need to pay attention at all times. Whether God in it or the old devil's in it. Because he come to you in sheep clothing. And I'll tell you this story of what happened in the Bible. And I'm fixing the clothes. He was a prophet. And Jesus told him to go somewhere. He said, now you go and don't you come back drink no water or nothing. You go, don't you turn back. He was sending him to a place and he wanted to just go straight there. So he headed out. <coughs> And on his way, there's another guy came along to him and told him that he was a prophet of God and he spoke to him and wanted to bring him back to his house to eat. And so he believed him and he went back. He went back. When he went back, this guy left. Then afterwards, and on the way, there's a lion. Slew him. Killed him. But he didn't bother his donkey. And the Bible said that prophet had lied to him. He come to him in sheep clothing, the old devil did, and got him turned back. I want to tell you, better leave the world alone. Attend to the things of God. That's right. I don't know your hearts here today. But I'm going to close right there. We have so much things happening that God has done for us. We shouldn't have so much trouble paying attention to what the devil is doing. Never brag on what the devil is doing to you. Always remember the good things God does. Amen. And the old devil gets tired of fooling with you because he ain't getting no praise out of it. If I wanted to grumble, I could do a lot of grumbling. But what good would it do? It'd do harm instead of good. Have you got a something?